So it's as easy as that to make a multi-style. In fact, it's even easier than that. If you had another song in like this uh, that just has two sub-styles on it, you could say uh, that you want more. You can make any sub-style to be a, uh, a, a multi-style just by saying define C and D and I would like uh, this KG ballad song to be a multi-style and then this song, not the whole style, but this song now has A, B, C and D on it. And you could just click A, B, C and D and then um, when you click D you would be on to KG ballad and if you were on A you would be on this one. And you can keep going um, to create uh, up to 24 uh, sub-styles on a song. So if you have five favorite country styles, you can make them all into one multi-style and you can just go back and forth between the uh, sub-styles uh, very easily. Now I'll just briefly mention some of the other features in the program. You can have uh, changes of real drums at any bar now. Uh, by using the edit settings bar dialog, you can choose the uh, particular um, uh, style that you wanted to hear and then there, there would be a change of uh, brill drums at, at that, uh, at that uh, style. Another thing you might notice just in the dialogue is that themes are supported. So uh, we've set uh, our theme to Windows XP so that means that the, the, the style of the buttons and everything are going to be as they are in, um, in as whatever the theme you have set and that will affect everything in, in, um, in band in a box. You'll also notice that uh, we can change a key signature now at any bar, and if you do that, the notation will show up with a new key signature at the bar that you've um, uh, said. So if you're doing a song with uh, key signature changes, that's very useful. Another thing is um, there's all kinds of volume changes that you can do at any bar. You could all instruments, you could say mute, or you could say I like all instruments beginning to uh, at beginning at this bar should be fading by five. Uh, per bar at that point, etc. And even more um, useful is that you can say uh, this should happen for all choruses or you should say it only in the third chorus would I like, uh, say would I like the bass player to mute himself at this uh, point. And then uh, at bar two of the third chorus the bass would mute and then you could go to bar ten at, at chorus three and say he should now be playing back to normal. We have a a new feature called the Medley Maker. And let me just clear out this song. And Medley Maker allows you to make a medley. And so you go in here and you say, just start adding the songs that you'd like to see in your medley. Let's say we wanted to pick a, a few uh, songs from Styles Disc Number 3. So you say Caribbean. And after that, I would like Country Rock. After that, I would like this one, and uh, but now I've decided that this one should be moved up into this order, and uh, it'll uh, when you press play, it'll make a automatically make a demo of uh, make a medley of these, but even uh, better than that, it will uh, insert transition bars, uh, which means that this is in the key of C, this is in the key of E flat. It will intelligently make transition bars. Uh, to uh, go between them. So I've just picked those, these tunes at random and then it will generate a medley of those. So here is our medley uh, here and we can just start playing it. Uh, I think we started off uh, with Caribbean style and uh, let's get down to where it's going to change. Notice these are real drums playing and they're going to do real drum style changes. Now here's our transition. New key. New tempo. Now we're into our funk style. And so we're, we've made a medley. Uh, it's using real drums. We've got transition bars and uh, we've got uh, 1 to 76 for the whole song. So that's a medley maker. On a similar theme to the medley maker is an import, uh, uh, import song. If you've got one song and you want to add another song to it, you can just uh, select the song that you want and then it will add it to uh, your existing song and you can choose various options about how you want it added in. New feature called section paragraphs. You may have noticed um, these lines between uh, the sections 
and uh, another uh, feature about it, for example, this says what a section is. Let's say you had an unusual section that was seven bars long and you put one there. It's going to divide these into uh, sections of seven bars and then the eighth section will start there. So a new section always starts there. So at a glance you can tell that this song has seven bars in it and uh, in the first section and then uh, happens to have nine bars in the second section. Um, yet everything uh, always lines up nicely because if you have a, otherwise if you had a song with seven bars and then a bunch of eight bar sections you would lose the sort of the symmetry of the uh, of the song um, you know just because it had one extra bar and these uh, features are configurable in the display options so that you could say that if you for example didn't want a new line for every section or you didn't want any space between them you would just turn that off and then it would be back to how it used to be the style packer uh, has been enhanced in a few uh, different ways it allows you to um, um, the main thing is when you uh, rebuild the style uh, styles you'll see um, other uh, uh, category called other styles found and th that will automatically scan your directory and find any style that we didn't know about maybe that you just made um, and um, or or you purchased from a third party and it wasn't otherwise located so it'll just be searched and uh, it'll be uh, these things will be filled in there won't be a memo or examples uh, filled in but the other ones uh, should be filled in uh, correctly for it so then you can search for it and find it like any other styles